Welcome back. You are watching The Core, coming to you live from Channel's television studios, and we're talking about Nigeria's primary health care system. So I want to ask a very pointed question, because again, we've been done. What do we need to do to get a functional and effective primary health care system? Um, for me, I think we just need to roll up our sleeves and get the work going. We have the roadmap. We have the structure. We just need to put the money to action. Secondly, we need to be upfront and confront our errors. These, as, yes. th th these errors, also of money, or because I've also, I mean, it's I remember talking money. to um, someone who worked in the uh, budget office of Lagos State a few mm -hmm. years ago, and he told me the story of how they were basically sitting in Lagos, and then they got called by contractors who said, or we've been given a contract by the federal government mm -hmm. to come and build primary health care centers. Can you give us land? And they said, no, go away. You know, because they already had structures, yeah. but not necessarily the resources to run and fund them and all of that, and it didn't make sense to them. So I, I, the, 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 the sense I get listening to you, that you're, you know, working in this field, is that there is no coordination, mm -hmm. and the issue is there is, is, is there a will to coordinate is really the question, or is it like everything to do with Nigeria where people are just not interested, mm -hmm. and all they're thinking about is, you know, things that will put money in their pocket? Well, on the contrary, we are interested because the abysmal statistics is very embarrassing to us as a nation. Uh, maternal mortality, uh, child mortality statistics, we know we can turn it around. What is the implication for Nigeria as a country if we don't get our primary health care um, um, sorted? Hmm. Well, we know one of the implications is life expectancy will keep dropping. The desire to be one of the 20 most developed nations of the world will not be achieved because you will have own skills on healthy people to deliver optimal productivity, that can't happen. So really, it's really a matter of national survival. It is a matter of it, uh, national urgency, you know. And you see, it's so amazing that all the resources to make it happen is here. The skill, the human resource to make it happen is here. We just need to embrace our error and say, we are not doing short-term fix it. That's another problem. We okay. do short-term fix it. Mr. Manuel? Yeah, I, I think, uh, well, just to hit it very directly, we'll not achieve you know, health, health coverage if we don't get it right mm -hmm. in primary health care level. And they will not therefore achieve the sustainable development goals. Yeah. Just as we are hypocrisy in With the MDGs, MDG, the same thing is going to happen yeah. uh, if we don't get it right. But let us look at it this way. There is a minimum country standard of mantra that you need to be able to achieve effective primary health care system. One, which probably we have not mentioned, is accountability. Two is transparency. And three is inclusiveness. Mm. I, I think with the, with the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, not because of the executive director is here, I, I think they are doing a lot of work mm. to ensure that uh, we have a fairly much more coordinated yeah. and yeah. disciplined champion. But the issue of accountability, and that's where organization where I belong to comes in very strong. Yeah, but I, yeah. I am still yeah. a little bit confused. And about, again, part about. of it is because of this multiplicity of roles Players. and the fact that there's local government, mm -hmm. there's state, mm -hmm. and there's federal. Mm -hmm. Who do we hold accountable and who holds them accountable? Hold federal mm -hmm. government accountable. And let the people <laughs> hold federal government, government accountable. accountable. The reason is this. Federal government controls the past. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing you can do where there's no money. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying federal government does not have the will, but the will must be expressed, must not only be available, but must be seen and also expressly uh, you know, presented and, and, and implemented so that people can have the resources to take care. Okay. Of, the, of the primary health care. Let's, let's bring the audiences yeah. and perhaps begin to focus a little bit on uh, solutions yeah. because I think, yeah. you know, yeah. we cannot understand the problem. Yeah. If yeah. we start uh, the gentleman in the red tie and then we come back to the gentleman in front in blue. And ladies, 
Congratulations. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Alewan Samuel Tezwe, uh, with National Association of Community Practitioners of Nigeria on the Park Fire Escape Project with DRPC. Well, uh, my problem with this country is our inability to comply with our conventional provisions. In 1978, we all agreed and the word over that primary health care is the solution to accessibility of health care to everyone. We started very well in this country when the federal government was controlling primary health care. In 1990, primary health care was transferred to the local government via the state ministries of health. Uh, before, during that time, we attained a lot of our successes, but it started, challenges started coming in. Now, we accepted to the Abuja declaration up to now, where are we about okay, its so implementation? Let me let, what let, let, let to be, please. Its implementation is becoming very difficult. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we, we dragged the, the National Health Aid Act for some time, but we passed it eventually in 2014. Its implementation is becoming a challenge. We, where it made basic provision healthcare, basic healthcare provision found is of 1% of total allocated revenue, becoming difficult for us to implement, even in the 2018 budget. Okay. So I want to say that we have made cons uh, concerted efforts to ensure the success of primary health care, and we know its importance. But if we make concrete steps, we take concrete steps, take strategic decisions, decisions at implementing some of these conventions, take steps, uh, to implement them, we will not get there. Okay. So what we are saying is, yeah. right you in this really 2018 budget, saying. implement mm -hmm. the basic health care provision. So okay. we'll start from there. Okay. It was gazetted in 2016. A year has passed. Nothing has happened. Yes. So maybe we will get yeah. it done in 2018. The gentleman in front much. and then the lady in black, and then we'll go to the lady in the Ankara.